It's eleven o'clock, children. Snack time. Snack time. Snack time. Snack time. Don't forget to put your toys back. कुतु लुक्स एट द सॉफ्ट व्हाइट एंड फ्लफी इडली स्मियर्ड विथ चटनी पुडी एंड ऑयल इडली एंड पुडी हम्म सो टेस्टी बोबो यूजुअली ब्रिंग्स सैंडविचेस व्हिच वन इज इट टुडे इट्स अ डिलीशियस ट्राइकलर सैंडविच यम 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 Kutu can't believe his eyes. It's his favorite crispy onion pakoda. <laughs> wow, Kutu! It's your lucky day. This is vada pav, the all-time favorite spicy snack from Maharashtra. <laughs> Kutu is really in for a treat today. This is the smooth and silky khandvi from Gujarat. What's this? A box of crunchy kodabale, the special snack from Karnataka. Kutu is not sure what this snack is. This looks like bajji. Mmm banana minku will like it. This is paramburi, the famous banana fritters from Kerala. Chikki, my favorite snack. Mmm, so sweet and crunchy. Raw mango, sponge cake, samosa, guava, chivda. Children enjoy sharing all their favorite snacks with each other. Please keep your boxes and bottles inside. It's craft time. Kala ma'am, can we have nap time now? I'm so full. <laughs> <laughs> the cosmonaut Kutu and Ki have come to Delhi with Ma and Papa. They are having a picnic in Lodhi Garden. Mmm, the chole bhature was so good. Yummy in my tummy. Yes, now I can just fall asleep. Asleep? I thought we'll go and see the Purana Kila. Oh please, you are already flat on the ground. So what? I'm not sleeping. I'm just looking at the sky. Good, then I'll join you. Ma, can Kutu and I see the garden till then? Yes, but don't go too far. Look, Kutu. I am the king of this garden, and this is my palace. <laughs> What's that? Wow! It looks like a tower. Look, it's a kingfisher. Did you see that? 
say what? <gasps> Kimli. Hello, Kuttu. Hello, Ki. Hello, Kimli. What are you doing here? I've come to this Coast Minar to send a letter to a dear friend. Coast Minar? What's that? Rulers like Sher Shah Suri and Akbar long ago made lots of small towers along important roads. They were called Coast Minars. But why did they make Coast Minars? The Coast Minars helped in guiding travelers along the way. They were also used for communication, so they say. Horse riders and drummers stood at many of the minars to carry messages back and forth. Kimli, who is the letter for? Oh, this. This is a letter to the Prince of Agra. I'm inviting him for dinner tonight. Wow, you're inviting a prince for dinner? Yes, he is an old friend of mine, the Prince of. Agra. I'm going to make his favorite dish, muri ka paratha. Mm. Have you seen a kingfisher around? She usually takes my letters. The kingfisher just left with someone else's letter. Oh no! I need to deliver the letter fast, or else the prince will get late for dinner. And I also have to go back and start preparing the food. Hmm. What if we take the letter to the next coast minar and give it to someone there? Yes, that might work. Inkutumi, let's go. Kutu and Ki are flying towards Agra. They have reached the next Coast Minar. Hello, is anybody here? Ah, there you are. Deliver this letter to the Prince of Agra, please. He is invited to have dinner with me. Great. Now we can go back. Uh, are you sure the letter will reach the prince on time? The tortoise is moving quite slowly. Oh, please don't worry. The letter will reach the prince before Kutu can say Tiruchirappalli. Tiruchirappalli, Jani. See, now come. Let's go back. But I said it right. That's a flying carpet. Oh, what? I just saw a flying carpet. <laughs> you must have dreamt it. No, no, it was right there. It was so nice meeting you both here. Now I should go back and start preparing for my dinner. Bye. Bye, Kimli. I'm telling you, it was a carpet flying across the sky. <laughs> I think it's time for you to have your evening coffee. You're starting to imagine things. But I really saw it. Ah, you're both just on time. We just woke up from a. <sighs> 
wonderful sleep. How about we go see the Purana Kila? Yes, oh, let's, let's go. go. What's that? Looks like a small tower. It's, it's a, a coast minar. A what? A coast minar. They used to help guide travelers along the way. Wait, Kutu. I'll go with them. What's that? It's a letter. Dear Kimli, thank you for inviting me for dinner. I gladly accept your invitation and will see you there tonight. But please don't make mooli ka paratha again. Last time I couldn't stop farting for an entire day. Your dear friend, the Prince of Agra. <laughs> <laughs> This letter must be on its way to Kimli. Yeah, you go. A pigeon carrying a letter? I really need a coffee. If in Ma has come back from work. Papa is helping Kutu and Ki do their homework. No Ki, half is written as 1 upon 2, not 2 upon 1. Oh! Papa, have you seen my green colored tiffin box? I can't find it anywhere. No, I haven't seen it. Which tiffin box do you take to the hospital today? I couldn't find the green tiffin box, so I took this purple one. But I don't know whose it is. Oh, that must be Nanu's. Nanu's? Yes. Remember Nanu had got gajar halwa for us in a purple box? Mmm, gajar halwa. But that was so long back. We should return his tiffin box soon. Kutu and I are going to meet Nanu and Nani today. We can give them the box. Alright, but first we must put some food in it. Some food? Yes, Ki. Whenever someone gives us food, we return the box with some food in it, rather than returning it empty. How about we give them some samosas in the box? I bought some on the way home. That's a good idea. There. Kutu, Ki, are you both done with your homework? Yes! Good! Then you can go and give this to Nanu and Nani. And when you come back, we'll eat some samosas too. Yay! I'm going to ask Nani if we can use her telescope to count the stars today. How many stars do you think there are, Kutu? Kutu? Did you just eat a samosa? Mm -mm. No? Then open your mouth. Mm -mm. There were six samosas, Kutu. And now there are only five. The samosas are not for you. They are for Nani and Nanu. But shouldn't we taste the samosas before giving them? What if they're not good? Hmm. Actually, that's a good point, Kutu. Hmm. Maybe I'll also taste one samosa just to make sure they're okay. Can I also taste it? You already ate one, Kutu. Hmm. Mm. This is so good. Okay, we are not eating 
any more samosas. The rest are for Nanu and Nani. Okay. <laughs> hey, it's Minku. Hello, Minku. Are you going to our house? <laughs> we are going to meet Nanu and Nani today. And we have some yummy samosas. Do you want some, Minku? <laughs> what are you doing? Those are for Nanu and Nani. Oh no. Sorry, Minko. I can't give one to you. Huh? No, Kutu. You've already offered the samosa. Don't be rude. Okay, Minko. You can have one. But leave the rest for Nanu and Nani. <laughs> Minko, do you want to drop us off at Nanu and Nani's place? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> now we have only three samosas. That's okay. We still have two samosas for Nanu and one for Nani. That's not fair. Why does Nanu get two and Nani only one? Because there are only three samosas, Kutu. And there are two people. What if we eat one samosa? Mm, that's a good idea, Kutu. Then we'll be left with two samosas. One for Nanu and one for Nani. Come, let's eat the extra samosa. But Kili, how will we both eat one samosa? That's easy, Kutu. We'll just break it in half. Oh, how tightly did you close the lid, Kutu? I can't open it. Let's try together. Are you okay? I'm okay. Oh no, all the samosas. Now what do we do? Hmm, I know. We can go back home and fill the tiffin box with more samosas. But Ma and Papa will be angry. Can't we just give the tiffin box without the samosas? No, Kutu. Remember what Papa said? We always try to return a tiffin box with some food in it, rather than return it empty. We can get the samosas without Ma and Papa finding out. We'll do it secretly. Minku, will you help us? Minku to Minku to Key, let's go! Alright, Minku, try to find a brown paper bag. The samosas will be inside it. Hey, where did my paper bag go? Oh no, let's go before he finds us. Yay, we did it! Now let's put the samosas in the tiffin box. Onions? Oh no, we've got the wrong bag. That's okay. At least the different box is not empty. Hello, Kutu. Hello, Ki. Nanu! Nanu, we've brought you your different box. And some really yummy onions. Oh, thank you. This is not my Diffin box. Oh, then whose is it? I had kept the paper bag right there and now it's gone. Are you sure you didn't leave the bag somewhere else? Hello. Oh, hello, Jeet. Have you come to meet Kutu and Ki? No, uncle. Actually, I came here to return your Diffin box. Ah, that's my green box. Kaju Burfis. Thank you, Jeet. You're welcome. Also, I think I left my tiffin box at your place when I was here last time. Your tiffin box? Yes, a purple color tiffin box. Oh. Lin, 
Kutuki and Minku are playing football. Uh, ah! Sorry, Minku. Minku, that's not a football. That's a pine cone. That's no pine cone. Huh? Hey, it's a dragon. Dragons aren't real, Kutu. It must be some animal's baby. Oh, what does it want? It probably wants food or milk. Oh, I kept a chocolate bar in my pocket. Oh no, it melted. You can't give chocolates to animals, Kutu. Where is he going? Huh? Did you see that? He just ate all the ants. Ew! Minku says we should return it to its mother. But whose baby is it? I'm not sure, but we can ask around. <laughs> All right then, Inku to Minku to Ki, let's go. Hello, sloth. Where is this your little? Eating little ants like you were from the mud, but bears are so funny. Our little friend is not. Look, a cobra with the same scales that he's got. Hello, Mrs. Cobra, is this your little one? He's got the same scales and a very long tongue. But look closely, Minku, our friend has four legs. Mrs. Cobra's got none, just a hood on her head. Looky, I see something with four legs and scales. Then in the lake. Hello, Kariyal, this baby must be yours. The Kariyal misunderstood and opened up its jaws. Look, there's a tortoise with a very strong shell. Does it look like our friend here? I can barely tell. See, his claws look like tiger claws. I don't think this is a tiger cub, Kutu. Hello, Mr. Tiger. This baby must be. Run, Minku. Look, Kutu, he's hanging from the tree like a monkey. Hey, look, monkey! Hello, monkey! This baby must be yours since you both like dangling. The monkey said, This is not my baby, it's a pangolin. Oh, the monkey is saying it's a pangolin. What's that? I don't know. I've never seen one before. And I don't see a pangolin mother around anywhere. Oh, that's a good idea, Minku. Pangolins must eat ants, like our friend here. If we follow the ants, we might find more pangolins. Come! They're so big. Look, a penguin. Not a penguin, Kutu. A pangolin. Penguins live in the South Pole. Oh. I think she's his mother. I'm 
miss that little dragon? Hmm, let's go play football. Minku, did you leave the football back there, behind the bushes? Come, let's go back and find our ball. Petition. Who wants more vadas? Me! Your idlis and vadas are the best, Papa. Thank you, Ki. Papa, did you know there was a food fair in town? No. It says here that today they are holding a cooking competition at the fair. A cooking competition? Papa, you should take part in it. You're the best cook I know. Oh, but you'll have to cook something and submit it by lunchtime. I can help you cook. Me too. <laughs> All right then. Yay! What will you cook, Papa? A cake, a cake. Maybe some paneer tikkas? Or biryani? Hmm, I think I'll make a simple besan ka chila. A chila? What's that? It's one of my favorite dishes. My nani used to make it for me when I was small. But will it win the competition? Maybe or maybe not. But it will definitely win if I add my special Rim Jima Jim powder. Alright then, let's do it! Inku to Minku to Ki, let's go! Good! First, I need salt and haldi powder. Salt, check! Haldi, check! Mm, do we have onions and tomatoes? Tomatoes and onions, check! And we'll need some red chilli powder for flavour. Red chilli powder. Oh, I can't find it. There's no red chilli powder. Is this the red chilli powder? No, no. That's my special Rim Jima Jim powder. Ooh. Hmm. I think we need to make a list of ingredients to buy. Red chilli powder, garam masala, ginger and coriander. Uh-oh. Time is running out. I still have to cut the onions and tomatoes and grate the garlic. Kutu and I can get the ingredients from the market. Alright, here's the list of ingredients. Yes, Captain. And here's some money. Now we have to hurry. So how about we make it a race? First one to get the ingredients will get to taste the chila before I send it for the competition. I don't know what the chila is, but I definitely want to taste it. Let's race! Inkutu Minkutu! Hey, where'd Kutu go? Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna taste the chila. Hey, come back! Anna, can I have some red chili powder? Some garma masala? Some khoron bello? And some gin? Thank you, Anna. <gasps> oh, the money is with key. No, key, stop. It's too late, Kutu. You made the wrong choice. No, please. Let me share it with you. I'll give you the bigger piece, I promise. Papa, I've got the ingredients. Excellent, Ki. Oh, where's the red chilli powder? Did I forget to write it in the list? Oops, the list is with Kutu. <gasps> Ki, you cheated. No, I didn't. It's alright. I think I can make the chila without the red chilli powder. Should we start? Yes! First, we'll add all the spices into the batter. Now, I will also add my special Rim Jima Jim powder. Ooh. Oh, that's, that's not my Rim Jima Jim powder. 
That's the red chilli powder. I put it in that can because it was empty. Yay! We found the red chilli powder. B- but that means the rim jam jam powder is over. I can go and buy it. No, I'll have to get this myself. Well, if we don't start cooking now, we'll get late for the competition. You all can take the ingredients to the competition. I'll get the powder and join you there. Do I still get to taste the chila? Look, everyone has already started cooking. Look, it's jim 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 powder. Ooh. I wonder where Papa is. Jim 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 Papa's going to get some rim chima jim jim. Wait, wait, what? The shop is closed. Now what do I do? Oh no, it's almost lunch time. I have to go back. Rim chima jim rim chima jim rim chima jim jim. Papa's going to get some rim chima jim jim. Rim chima jim rim chima jim rim chima jim jim. Oh no. It's a traffic jam. Papa, did you get the powder? No, the shop was closed. Anyway, the competition is over now. I'm hungry. Me too. How about we eat some besan ka chila? Yes. Papa, your chilas are the best. <laughs> Thank you, Ki. Papa, I think some more people are interested in your chila. Can you make them some chilas too? Hmm. No, I don't think I can make them some chilas too. But I can make them some chilas for. <laughs> Kutu, Ki, Nanu and Minku are watching the cricket finals at Nani's house. A six! Woohoo! You're cheering for the wrong team, Kutu. Oh! Ah! Here comes my favourite baller. Now we will surely win this game. We're entering the second over with 12 runs and... Oh no! Don't worry, Minku. The TV just needs a little pat. Come on. 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 Oh, ho. It's not your horse, Nano. Patting it is not going to help. Why isn't the TV working, Nani? Oh, na na na. It's not the TV key. There's a problem with the signal. Come, let's go fix it. What's the signal? I don't know. Nani, what do you mean by a problem with the signal? Well, in order to watch TV, we get a signal from space. From outer space? Yes, Kutu. There's a satellite above the sky. 
that receives a signal from the TV channels and then it sends the signal to that antenna and the antenna sends it to your TV on which you watch cricket. Simple! Wow! Achha! I've detected a problem in the satellite. So we'll have to go fix it. But how will we go to space, Nani? Oh, in my space shuttle, of course. Whoa! Was that here the whole time? So, what do you say? Shall we go on a space mission? Yes! Let's go! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're going to space, keeping up a good pace. Right above the sky, there's a satellite. satellite. We've got to reach there, blasting off in the air. We drop the fuel tank at a certain height. Ooh, the satellite must be near There's no gravity here You can float around You can swim or you can fly There's no up or down If you want to take a nap You will have to be strapped in Or you might just fly into your captain oh, no. Exercise every day So you can stay strong, strong. The toilet sucks it all in So you don't get it wrong You can comb your hair up Coffee's not in a cup It's a lot of fun here But you need more than just luck Ooh, we're doing it right Ooh, there's a satellite How will we fix the satellite, Nani? We'll have to go out there and do a spacewalk. Yay, spacewalk time! Minku, I think if we clean the antenna a little, we might just be able to watch the end of the game. Will you help me out? Pass me the bucket and the mop, Minku. Thanks, Minku. We make a good team. <laughs> I just clean the antenna a little and then we should be able to watch the game. La 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 la. Minku and Nanu. <laughs> Saving the day. Ho, 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 ho. So we can go back and see who wins the game. La 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 la. Don't let go, ah! Huh? If you float away, there's no bringing you back. Done. Here, Key, take the screwdriver. Oh no, my screwdriver! I get it. No, Kutu. Key, no. I got it. <laughs> <sighs> Let's go back. Hmm. 
Now we just go back. Right, Nani? Yes. But going back is the hardest part. Really? How hard can it be to go back? Okay. Let's see if it worked. It worked. But um, where are Kutu and Ki? Ah, they will miss the match. Ah, Nani, you went so hard. It's part of the journey, Kutu. We are crashing against the air, so it becomes very, very hot. There, look! Your house! Aha! Good work, Ki! Let's land this ship! Ah Kutu, launch the parachute! This is the final ball of the final over. This will decide the winner of the championship this year. Here comes Vain Sharma running to the pitch. No! Ah. Lost in the desert. Kutuki and Kalamam are lost in the desert. Oh, I can only see miles and miles of sand. It's so hot. We're almost out of water too. According to this map, we should reach the oasis soon so Seher can pick us up. And I want to see. <laughs> what is this? This is a compass. It shows you directions. Merchants and sailors first used them many years ago to find their way. What is this red arrow? That points to the north. If we go right, that is east. If we go left, that is west. If we turn around, we will walk towards the south. Every map will also have a compass drawn on it. Well, I want to see. Ah! It's all right. Come closer to me and cover your face. Kutu, come closer. Oh, that was scary. Are you both all right? Yes, Dad. Yes, Kala, ma'am. But there's very little water left. I'm getting thirsty. That way, I can see water. Where did the water go? I don't see any water. But I saw it. Ah, I see. Kutu, what you saw was a mirage. A mirage? Yes, you can see a mirage when it is very hot. The warm air above a hot surface rises and acts like a mirror. So what you are seeing is not water, but a reflection of the sky. Which way do we go now? Hello uncle, which way do we go? Key, Kala ma'am, we have to go that way. You're right, Kutu. How did you know? Huh? I saw someone there. That's a cactus. That means we must be close to water. Come, let's go this way. Wow! Thumbs up, silly pup. We did it. Isn't it a lot cooler here? Now you can fill your bottle. Seher should be back soon to pick us up. Wake up! It's time to go! Ok! 
Okay, I'm coming. <laughs> Rangoli story. Today is Diwali. Papa is making something special. What are you making, Papa? I am making chocolate gujiyas. Mmm, yum! Oh, can we make some of the gujiyas with kheer? Oh, and how about some pink rose gujiyas? That sounds great. No, we are having chocolate gujiyas. Don't worry, Kutu. I'll make some with chocolate too. Then you can taste them all. No, I want chocolate, chocolate, and more chocolate. Kutu, Ki, do you want to make a rangoli for Nanu and Nani? Yes. Here, you can make the rangoli with this rice flour. Come, Kutu. Let's make it outside. Minku, do you want to help us make a rangoli? What should we make? Um Look, I made a dinosaur. Wow, Kutu, you're really good at this. I'm a rangoli artist. All right, let's make some more dinosaurs. you some coconut gujiyas. We already have chocolate gujiyas. Oh, are you making a rangoli? Yes, come and join us. Wow, this looks so nice. Mm, maybe we can add some leaves. Then we'll have more colors. That's a great idea, Jeet. You're a real artist. We are not adding any leaves. This is a rice flour rangoli, not a leaf rangoli. But the colors look so nice. Our rangoli already looks nice. Fine, I'll make my own rangoli. Well, I'm going to go help Jeet. I want to taste some coconut gujiyas. Hmm, we don't need key. Come on, Mingo, let's make more dinosaurs. Jeet, can I join you? Yes, look, I've made a bird. Wow, that's so cool. Hmm, maybe we could add an outline to it. See, now it looks even more like a bird. No, we don't use rice flour here. Only leaves. But why? Because, uh, because the rice flour is white, and white is not a color. White is a color. No, it's not. Yes, it is. But Jeet, the white outline looks so nice. Well, you can make your own rangoli if you want, Ki. Well, can I try some gujiyas? No. <sighs> All right then, I'll make my own rangoli. And it will have all the colors in it. Let 
Monkey that looks amazing. Amazing. See, when you put all the different colors together, then magic happens. Wow, such beautiful rangolis. And they are all so different. Should we start lighting the diyas? Yes. <laughs> It's a dragon. Roar, roar. <laughs> Now it's a flying dragon. Roar, 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 roar. Roar, 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 roar. Happy, happy, happy Diwali. Happy Diwali. Wow, your house looks beautiful. Come. I have made chocolate gujiyas, kheer gujiyas and pink rose gujiyas. Mmm, our favorite gujiyas. Oh, then who will eat the coconut gujiyas? Don't worry, Jeet. We'll eat all of them. A tall story. It's a hot summer day, and Kutu and Ki are out playing. Kutu, look, mangoes. Mmm, yum. I'll get some for us to eat. I also want to climb. Don't, Kutu. You'll get stuck. No, I won't. I'll get more mangoes than you. <laughs> Let's see you try, Kutu. I'm a monkey. <laughs> There, I made it. Aha! See, I'm stuck. <laughs> see, I told you you'll get stuck. Ki, where are you? Have you finished your homework? Oh no, I haven't done my homework. I'm supposed to write a story. Wait, Ki. How do I get down? <laughs> Thanks, Mango. Look, I got a mango. That mango is not ripe yet, Kutu. Huh? It's okay. I've got plenty for us. Now let's go back. I've got mangoes. Ah, wonderful. But Ki, have you done your homework? Um, not yet. What is the homework, Ki? My teacher has asked us to write a story, but I'm not able to think of anything. Maybe if you start writing, you'll get some ideas. Hmm. Once there was A monkey called Kutu who didn't know how to climb trees. I know how to climb trees. You couldn't even climb halfway up the tree. I climbed all the way to the top. Don't tease your brother, Ki. Hmm. Once there was a uh, once there was a um How about we come up with a story together? Together? Yes. We'll go turn by turn and each of us will add one sentence to the story. All right, let's try it. Kutu, do you want to help? Okay. I'll start. Once upon a time, there was a peacock. Now it's your turn, Kutu. Hmm. Once upon a time, there was a big monster. 
No, Kutu. You have to pick up the story from where I finished. Oh. Okay, let me show you how. Ki, you start. Hmm. Once upon a time, there was a king called Maharaja Kutubhutu. <laughs> Kutubhutu. Maharaja Kutubhutu lived in a really tall tower. His tower was the tallest tower in the world. I am Kutubhutu. My tower is so tall. I can touch the sky. Pom 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 pom. But one day, Kutubhutu's neighbor, Maharani Kini Mini, made a tower that was even taller than Kutubhutu's tower. No, Kutubhutu made his tower taller than Kini Mini. It's not your turn, Kutu. It's Ma's turn. Hmm. Maharani Kinimini's tower was twice as tall as Kutubutu's. But then Kutubutu made his tower three times taller. Maharani Kinimini made her tower ten times taller. Maharaja Kutubutu sent Miku to break Kinimini's tower. But Maharani Kini Mini gave Minku lots of bananas, so Minku didn't break her tower. But after eating the bananas, she broke the tower. She didn't. She did. She didn't. She did. She didn't have to break Maharani Kini Mini's tower. Both Kutubutu and Kini Mini's towers had become so tall that they fell down on their own. No. If only Kutubhutu and Kinmini weren't comparing how high their towers were, their towers would not have fallen. The end. But that can't be the end. Can I add to the story? Yes, please. After their towers had fallen, the Maharaja and the Maharani decided to help each other and make a tall tower together. In the same way that we made this story together. And it was the tallest tower in the world. No, it wasn't. Mm. But it was the tallest tower they could have built, and that is what is important. The end. Woohoo! I have my story. Good. Now you can write it down. Kutu, do you want to get some more mangoes? Yes. Then come. We'll climb the tree together. That way, we'll be able to collect more mangoes. Yay! <laughs> but after you come back, you have to finish your homework, Ki. Yes, Papa. Come, Minko. We're going to get more mangoes. Ah! <laughs> <laughs>